Good morning, everybody. Goeiemorgen, allemaal. I see people are still coming in and they're still greeting one another. Are you blessed to be here this morning? Do you feel honored to be here this morning? The Lord has kept us, He's carried us through another week. Es kom kan maar kom en hulle kan maar gaan en hulle kan maar die kracht afsit. But Jesus' power, sy kracht, Mm-mm. There's nothing. We don't have anything on him this morning. Do we have any visitors here this morning? Do you have anybody visiting for the first time? Amen. They're at the back, I see. Can we just give them a hand? And where? And where? There's more. Amen. We want to welcome you in the house of the Lord. And I know that today is your first time visiting. But we pray after today's service that you will actually come back and come back, and then become a member. Amen. This morning, I just want you to enjoy yourself in the house of the Lord. Um, just something that the Lord laid on my heart, that this week, our load shedding there in Mitchell's Plain has been on another level, or this past few weeks, where it's from 8 o'clock to 10 o'clock, there must now the time when people must go to sleep, and then from 4 o'clock to 6 o'clock, there must now the time when people must up stand. So we went to go sleep during load shedding and we used to get up during load shedding. And you know what? It it comes it becomes so frustrating. But what I did is I just prayed and I said, Lord, instead of waking me up with the frustration, wake me up with the song. Put the song in my heart that I know that no matter what goes on in my life and where I am, that you are still looking out for me. And he gives me this song. I never would have made it without you. And it took me back to a time in my life where I was going through some dark, dark things. And he showed me where he's brought me from and how he's still carrying me and how he's still keeping me in the palm of his hands no matter what we face. Isn't Jesus just amazing? This morning, I'm going to do this. If the Lord has carried you through this week, through something unexpected, if He's kept you, and if He's brought you here this morning, through that storm and through that that trial, I want you to just stand for me. Can we just stand? If God has done something for you, it doesn't have to be something big, but if He has carried you through this week, I want you to just stand for me. Now, all those who are standing, can we just applaud Jesus this morning? Amen. We're going to remain standing, and I'm going to call on our brother Grant just to come and open in a word of prayer before we start our worship. Thank you. Let's bow our heads. As we gather, may your spirit dwell within us. As we gather, may we glorify your name. Knowing well that as our hearts begin to worship, we will be blessed because you are here, Lord. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. And his mercies are new every morning. Yes, they are new every morning. Heer, onze God is nie die gesintheid wat ons vanmorgen voor u kom buig, vir u die eer gee, vir u al die lof kom toeswaai, want u is dit waardig. Pul vanmorgen hier die gebouw met u self, alles wat ons vanmorgen hier gaan doen, laat het u eer sal wegdra. Laat wat ons doen vanochtend, Heer, is dat alles sal wees tot eer en verheerliking van die naam, en dat het een aangename reekoffer vir u sal wees. Vertoef saam met ons in die naam van Jezus. Heere, ons kom snij af elke plan, elke werk van die duivel, wat hy beplan hier van ochend. Ek bid in die naam van Jezus, Heere, dat u om sal vastbind in die naam van Jezus. Ons kom maak om hore hierdie dienst vry, en ons gee vir u die dienst. Laat u wil geskiet vir hore in hierdie dienst. Vader ons aan bid die en ons wei u vanmorgen ons levens aan u. Gees van God ons kom aan bid die en ons wei ons levens vanmorgen aan u. 
Jesus sien van God ons kom en bid u en ons wei ons levens vanmorgen aan u. In die naam van Jesus. Amen. Thank you. Can we give Jesus a round of applause this morning? We were going to start a song <laughs> this morning. The Lord is just laying on this on my heart that we just need to say thank you to Him, just just proper quickly. So we're going to do this one song that we did this morning for our sun check, and I think it's just it's just profound. It's easy words. It's a three line song. But it's really us just honoring Jesus this morning. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus.
Jesus, Jesus. Hallelujah. It's only through His grace. It's only through His mercy. It's only because of His love that we are still standing this morning. Nothing else. I'm still standing. I'm still standing. I'm still standing. But by the grace.
Yeah. Oh, I want to hear you singing this morning. Come as we
Yes, Jesus. The power of your name, Jesus. The power of your name, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, yes, Jesus. No matter my circumstance, Jesus. You lift me up. You lift me up. You lift me up. Oh, let's worship him in this place this morning. You lift me up, Jesus. In the fullness of your grace. In the power of your holy name. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, we bless your name. We bless your name, Jesus. Oh, you're worthy, you're worthy, you're worthy. You're worthy, you're worthy, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, church, let's start worshiping the name of the Lord this morning. Let's just worship him this morning. Forget about who's standing next to you or behind you. This is personal. This is between you and Jesus this morning. So let's worship him in this place. Let's worship him in this place. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, he's worthy, he's worthy. He's worthy, he's worthy. He's worthy, he's worthy. Oh, we bless your holy name, Jesus. We bless your holy name, Jesus. We honor your holy name, Jesus. Oh, we praise your Lord. We praise your Lord.
Church, we're not done worshiping Jesus. We're not done worshiping Him yet. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Let's sing it again. I surrender. Let's give it to Jesus this We can give it all. We can give it all to you, Father. This morning we surrender. We surrender to you, Jesus. We surrender it all to you, Father. Father God, when we're in your presence, Father God, the other things of the world become dumb in your presence, Lord, because we experience your holiness. We experience your love. We experience your presence, Father God. There's no other place to be, Father God, to know that we're in the presence of the Almighty God, coming with all our hearts and everything within us. To give you praise and to give you honor and to give you glory. Thank you, Father God, for your word that is so true, my God. When we gather in your name, you bless us with your presence. You are here. And thank you this morning that you are here in our presence, my God. Thank you that you are here, my God, to draw us closer unto you. Thank you that you are here this morning to confirm your love towards us, my God. I pray as we gather this day, God. Be glorified, my God. Be lifted up, my God. Jere, aanvaar hierdie ochend hier ons aanbidding uit die diepste van ons harte, my God. Waar ons aan die dank bring, waar ons aan die eer bring, waar ons onze dank aan u betoon vir die goedheid van u oor ons lewe, my Jere. Ons verklaar, ons sê, Jere, sonder u is ons niks. Sonder u kan ons niks doen nie, my vader. Dank u vir die voorrecht om in die teenwoordigheid te kan wees, my God. We treasure this moment, my God, to be in the presence of the Almighty God. And I pray this morning, be glorified. Be glorified and be exalted, my God. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, Father God. We honor and thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let's give...
the Lord a hand of praise. Amen. And be seated. Amen. 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 Good morning, beloved. My greeting this morning is in the name of Jesus. Baie dankie, span, dat jylle vir ons geneem moet in die teenwoordigheid van die Heere. Amen. What a wonderful opportunity to come in, om in vrede te kan kom, om net sy naam te kan groot maak, en om te kan aanbid. Halleluja, halleluja. Amen, beloveds, wat a voorrecht vanmorgen vir my, om die woord van die Heere te kan bedien. Jy is so welkom vanmorgen in die huis van die Heere. Ek maak verskoning vir ons senior pastoor, pastoor Derek en sister Louise, hulle behartig getrouwe uitstedig. So, dis hoe kom hulle nie hier vanmorgen is nie, maar die Heere is hier. Amen. 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 And this morning, I am, I want to be obedient just to say what the Lord has laid upon my heart. And trust and pray that you will be blessed. Because what I need to do is I need to lift up the name of Jesus. And everything we do, it's all about Him. He is our Savior. He is our Redeemer. Amen. Amen. So, we can just read, we're reading out of Ephesians 6, verse 10 till 13. You can read the scripture. It says, finally, be strong in the Lord and in His mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore put on the full armor of God, so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground. And after you have done everything, to stand. The message today is very, very simple. After you've done everything, to stand. Amen. Nadat ons alles gedoen het, nadat jy alles gedoen het in die lewe, at the end, to come to the point to say, I'm still standing. Amen. Amen. Now, now our fight is against Satan and his demons. The enemy wants to break down and steal everything that Jesus provided for us. Our fight is against the powers that wants to control us and keep us in bondage. Our fights are against the power of darkness and wickedness and deception. It's against spiritual forces that wants to hurt us. Everything that wants to create fear, pain, and prevent us from living in the fullness of Jesus Christ. That is the real battle. Okay, now this morning... Uh, I'm going to speak, um, and I'm speaking, I hope I'm speaking to, to real people that experience what an eleven rock, where we know it's the, it's the tire that touched the tar. Amen? So, I'm going to read, I'm going to read two or three uh, passages in the Bible also just to, just to, to refer to the challenges that we experience in life. Because of time, I'm not going to read all the scriptures, but I will refer you to the scriptures. And the one is in Matthew 7, verse 24 till 27. And it's about the, the man who builds the house on the rock and the man who builds the house on the, on the sand. And sometimes in life, it feels like the storms are against us. Sometimes we feel there is a hurricane. Sometimes it feels that this rain can really stop now. The pressure can really come to an end now. And if you know when it's a hurricane, it is your doors are locked. You are in a house. You are, you don't, you can't go outside. And that is sometimes what life brings Bring, bring to us that you, you even don't want to go outside. You can't force, you can't face the, 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 the people outside. The challenges are so bad sometimes that there is actually, that there is evidence of the hurricane. There's evidence in our life that the bad we experience 
other people can see. You know, after hurricane, you look out, you see, daar sien jy die dak het afgewaai, die strate is, dit, dit is net verwoestend. And sometimes life also bring us at such a point where it was, it was bad. But in this case, in, in this story, it was about these two people, the one who built the house on the solid rock and the other one who built it on sinking sand. I want to tell you, whatever comes our life, what, whatever comes our way, if our lives are built on the solid rock, in America, they call the hurricanes different names. I can only start with this, but for Bill, my is die name nie altyd net vrouwe name nie, ek praat onder correctie, <laughs> praat onder correctie dierbaar is, ek praat onder correctie, maar vergewe my ook vir, vir dit, ek sê niks dier dit nie, ek vraag net, <laughs> but, uh, so, so it is like, your house, you need to be, you need to be grounded, when we were small, we, lead, we, 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 were, we were told about the story, about what is it, the three peaks, the three little pigs. There's a deep message even in that. You need to know, you need to know, can I tell everyone that can hear my voice, we need to know where is our house built on. Because the storms definitely is going to come. It's going to come. But you need to know in this life, you need to know where am I standing on. On what am I standing on? Where is my shelter? Where, what is my cover? I feel that you want Santam won't cover everything. You need the comfort, you need the shelter, you need the refuge of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. That is that is one that is the challenges, the storms of life. Other point I want to talk about is about it's about Gideon in the book of Judges 6. Judges 6, where Gideon was sitting there and the Lord told him, you are a mighty warrior. You are a mighty warrior. Go in the strength you have and save Israel out of Midian's hand. And I am sending you. That is what the Lord said. But Gideon said, my clan is the weakest and I'm the least in my family. You know, beloveds, there's sometimes that, oh, can I say this? You know, we are stronger than we think we are. We are stronger than we think we are because of Jesus. We really are stronger. We are, and sometimes you, we forget our previous victories. We forget, our pre- we forget our previous victories. Ons vergeet waar vanaf ons kom. Ons vergeet waar die Heere vir ons al dier gedraai het. That sometimes that you, if you look to have, you, that you have to look at yourself to say, I'm a mighty warrior. Moe nie sê dat, Heere, ek is die minste, ek is die kleinste, ek is die soos hulle, nie, ek kan nie. Don't say that. If God Promise you something. Stand on the promises of God. Keep on to the to the promises of God. And can I tell you, beloved, with every challenge, there will always be an excuse why we can't and why I am not the one. Even Moses said, Lord, I can't go. Somebody sometimes people said, I'm too young. You know, we're always looking for, for an excuse. To walk into our victory. We always look for an excuse. Why I am not the one. Why I'm not the one. To walk into the promises of God. We always look. There will, there will always be a reason. There will always be excuse. From our side. Why am I not walking into this. Because no. Thank you. This is it ernstig. Thank you. It's maybe too much of myself. Beloved, if God promised you something, it's God's desire that we walk into that promise. That we walk and stay, but because of Jesus, I am. Because of Jesus, amen. Amen. 
Um, yes, ek kom na my volgende punt en ek ken die story van, dis in Genesis 50. Genesis 50 waar Joosefse broers om verkoop. En dan vers 50 dan sê hierdie story, You intended to harm me, but God intended it for good, to accomplish what is now being done, the saving of many lives. You know, it's hard to believe it, but there are always people in this life to give you a hard time. There are people, I don't know where they come from, but they are there to make your life so difficult as can be. And then you don't know why. Sometimes, sometimes there's a reason. But in many cases, there are just people that have this nature in them to make your life difficult. Jere kan die lisse morgen opstaan nie. Jere kan nie glo ek moet werk toe gaan nie. They are, so what what it is, there will always be people in life that make things difficult for you. (coughs) It's people. And in this case, the thing that is so bad is like, it was the people close to Joseph. It was his family. It was his family that made it, that made that, that sold him. You don't know from where it will, it, it will come, but it, it marks here. There are people out there to harm you. There are people that, not, not everybody likes you. Although all of us are very likable people. <laughs> Amen. Amal van ons is so nice, maar almal hou nie van ons nie. And sometimes you need to make peace with that. There will be people They don't like you. What they don't like of you, I don't know. You don't have to understand it. And this is the same with, this is the same with, um, this is the same with, 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 with Joseph. When it comes to the point, those people that want to hurt him, he had this one thing in mind. He said, I am not God. You don't have to ask forgiveness for me. Because what was his thing is, his thing is was, he wants to live in the purpose what God had called him from. Can I tell you people, other people that makes your life hard, tries to distract you from what you actually want, needs to do. Don't get distracted by a lot of people that they don't have a liking in you. But keep focus. Be focused. Joseph was focused and he, and he fulfilled the role that God eventually wanted to have. He said, okay, you intended bad things. And people with family, it is not that easy. It hurts more. But the thing that God is is asking us in this situation, be be forgiving. Vergewe. Moet die laat het jou, dit kan die mens moos vreed en teer, en dit kan jou, because you, you try to figure it out. You want to know Where did it all go wrong? There's no need for us to understand that. But we just need to forgive and live in what God has called us to do. Amen. Right, my next one is in Exodus 14. Exodus 14 where Moses, them, they, they left the, um, Egypt and then the the Israel, uh, the, the Egyptians came behind and then Moses was saying, um, do not be afraid, stand firm and you will see the deliverance of the Lord will bring and s- today. The Egyptians you see today, you will never see again. The Lord will fight for you. You only need to be still. The Lord will fight for you. You only need to be still. Can I read the other ones? Uh, Jehoshaphat also, when, when, when he saw the vast army that was coming against him and them, and everybody come together to, and to seek help. And the fear was in the air. And sometimes things come where we don't know. We are so overwhelmed by our situation. But the Lord, and so what did Jehoshaphat did in this case? He said, Lord, he lift up his eyes to the Lord. He said, Lord, the God of our ancestors, are you not the God who is in heaven? 
You rule over all the kingdoms of the nation. Power and might are in your hand, and no one can, with, can withstand you. Then the Lord answered, do not be afraid or discouraged, because this vast enemy, this vast enemy, for the battle is not yours, but God's. You will not have to fight this battle. Now, when there's a dark cloud, a not a wonderful experience around us that we experience in our lives, we are so quick to say or to come up with things, what am I going to do? I'm now in this situation and your plans, <coughs> apology, then our plans, one, two, three, it's all in place. Okay, Lord, this, 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 this. But what, what, what did Jehoshaphat did? He first went to the Lord and said, Lord, but you are God. Lord, this challenge that's here before me, I am not able to, to manage this. Look at all the people, they're coming together. There is fear in, in the air. But what, what I did is like, when it feels like life threatening you, when you feel our lives are in danger, we mustn't be moved by what we see. We mustn't be moved by what we see. We mustn't be moved by what we experience. We need to go to God and remind God, listen, here, what he for me is, ek het die krachie. And many times we are, before, when, when there are challenges, beloved, we mustn't always try to seek and know the answer. I don't have to know what's going to happen in three weeks' time. I don't always have to understand how God is going to solve issues. The only thing I need to do, I need to remind God of His promises. I need to remind God, like Joseph did here, I need to remind God of His power. I need to remind God, God, but you are the powerful God. You are the God that knows everything. We just need to live our life in the strength of Jesus. We need to live our lives in the strength of God and not try to explain our lives or try to understand every situation. Dierbares en kindermens, mense wat goed kan lees en kan inprint en dieper lees wat rarig. Die People can analyze about things that might happen. That's never going to happen. And guys, mense wat sieke dier die fiksie boeken moet, moet geskryf het, you know, but there's, there's, there's really sometimes where we don't have to, we, we don't have to be moved or intimidated by challenging circumstances. But our first reaction must be to, I go to God, I acknowledge Him, and I remind Him of His promises. Amen. And I remind Him, but I am your child. Amen. 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 Yes, 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 dear Baris. Dan sê die Bijbel in 1 Korintiërs 10. It's important for everybody, guys, for everybody in this life, you need to know what you're standing on. Because the Bible even warns the Christians. He said in 1 Corinthians 10 verse 13, So if you think you are standing firm, be careful that you don't fall. If you think you're standing firm, be careful that you don't fall. Outstanding, my standing must be because my eyes is fixed on Jesus. I is the begin, nee, I is the leidsman and the vollender van my geloof. Amen. Alles gaan oor hom. He is our strength. I'm standing firm. Dear is nou baie van ons is nie op die grond nie. Baie van ons is nie plat nie. Baie van ons staan. But are we standing firm? Baie van ons, ons, ons staan maar net. Ons staan maar net. But, but God wants us to stand firm. To stand firm. Not because of who you are, but you're standing firm on God's promises. Standing firm. So that you know when the storms of life come, the wind gaat jou nie omwaai nie. Jy staan solid. 
Yo, and the wind can be strong. I'm reminded once I went on a hike there by um, the dome, Yaldeburg Nature Reserve. Yo, went up that we were, I don't know how high we were. The wind was so strong. We walk like this against the, the leaves. We have to walk like this. Planten moet ons maar vasthouden, want die wind is sterk. So, our strength is in the Lord. Was it omgesing, you are my strength. Strength like no, no other. You are my strength. Stand and don't, and don't fear. My friend by the work, sê altyd, as ons sê, die kracht is af. As ons is, kom ons af, as sê vir my, my kracht kom nie van S kom af, my kracht kom van die Jere af. Amen. Amen. Nou, daar is een lied wat sê, hier waar is, en ek het hier een lied al gesing, die Engels sê, wat die Engels is different van die Afrikaans, ek weet nie wat die selde lied is nie, die Engels sê, give me the power to hold on, to hold on, to hold on, give me the power to hold on, to hold on, to hold on, dat is die Engelse ene, die Afrikaanse ene sê, Gee my die kracht van die Heere wat anhou en anhou en anhou en anhou. The English sounds for me like ek moet vasthou. Maar die Afrikaans in wat ek altyd gesing het in my strijd, dan sê ek, Heere, gee my die kracht van u wat anhou en anhou en anhou. Die waar is waar jy punt bereik wat jy, jy kan nie meer nie, jy weet nie hoe nie. As dan of, you know, want as jy by die breekpunt kom en sê, Heere, as net jy, dan sê die Heere, gee my die kracht van die Heere wat anhou en anhou en anhou. He is our strength and he equipped us with our power, with, with his armor. Nou hier die skrifgedeelte praat dan, dan na ons die versie 6 praat hy van, and put on the whole armor of God. If you want to survive in this life, if you want to overcome today the, the, the vials of the enemy, you need to be clothed with the armor of God. The armor of God, we talk about the belt of truth. We talk about the breastplate of righteousness. We talk about the feet of willingness to say the gospel. We talk about the seal of faith to extinguish the flames and the the, the flaming arrows of the enemy, we talk about the helmet of salvation, and we talk about the sword of the spirit, the word of God. There's a few words, it's truth, it's righteousness, it is willingness to say the gospel, it is, it is faith, it's salvation, and it is the word of God. Today, you need to be clothed with the armor of God. That is where our strength lies in. Dit is waar ons ons sterkte in lee. Ons sterkte lee in die Heere. Laat ons begeer te wees, dat ons een sterk man wees in die Heere. Laat ons, laat, laat het ons begeer te ons verlange wees. Heere, ek wil, ek wil sterk wees. Ek wil, ek wil, ek wil, oor, ek wil oorkom. Ek wil oorwin, maar in die kracht van die sterkte. And it might be that you might survive. You know, the Bible says somewhere in Jeremiah, Jeremiah said, La die reikes nie roem in hulle reikdom nie. La die weise nie roem in hulle weisheid nie. La die sterkte nie roem in hulle kracht nie. Maar la die wat roem, laat hulle roem in die feit dat hulle die Heer ken. Amen? That is where our strength come from. To have our trust in the Lord, stand your ground, stand our ground, dat ons sterk wees, in die sterkte van die Heere, Psalm 62, en dit is my laaste skrif, Psalm 62 vers 1 en 2 sê, my soul finds rest in God alone, my salvation comes from Him, He alone is my rock and my salvation, He is my fortress, and then it says, I will never be shaken. I will never be shaken. My soul finds rest in God alone. My salvation comes from Him. He alone is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress. I will never be alone.
alone. Beloveds, let us be strong in the strength of the Lord. Let us all say, I'm standing because of His grace. Ek mag hier, ek, all things in my, all, most, some, all things in my life might reflect that I'm not supposed to be here. But I'm still standing. Can you see, as a type of fan, can you see rejoice, we see, I say, no, no, you must out go and say, but you can only say for the fan, I can see so pose for me to be, but I'm still standing. I can see for a stall on plat to be, but I'm still standing. I am still standing. And why I'm standing? Because of the strength of God. You know, beloved, in, in ons, 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 niemand weet altijd wat ons allemaal dier gaan nie. So, ons allemaal sal verbaas wees as jy die ander eense story hoor. You'll be surprised when you hear the story of the other one. You'll be so surprised. Ek kan nie wees nie, dit lyk kan nooit so nie. But, you are standing. And that is the thing that God want us to rejoice today. I am still standing because of His grace. I am still standing because of His power. I am still standing because my eyes is fixed on Jesus, even though it is not always easy, even though I don't understand it always, but I am still standing. I am still standing. Amen, amen. Die koorke, die, die, die worship team kan na voren kom. I said what the Lord has laid upon my heart. And I want, I want Nikki, Nikki, I want us to sing that song again. I'm still standing. I'm still standing. Then we celebrate the victory and the strength that we have in Jesus. And if there are any, any people that is, that is not that, but nie die versekerheid het, dat hulle, dat hulle staan, die, mense wat op die geval is, but die challenges in life is te groot, you can just, just raise your hand and we will, we will pray for you. Amen. But everybody stands, allemaal staan, staan op, dan gaan ons die lied stil, dan gaan ons die lied saam sing. Neem die victory, neem die oorwinning. Die lied sê mooi, when, if it wasn't for the goodness of God over my life, you know, I, I noem het so mooi, but you can say, you can say today, because of His grace, I'm still standing. Amen.
Amen. Halleluja, halleluja. Vader, dank je dat ons nog staande is, mijn vader. Jere, ten spijt van vele aanvallen, ten spijt van vele uitdagings, mijn God. Jere, vanmorgen is ons nog hier om die lof van u te besing, want die woord verklaar so mooi. Ons is nie net oorwinnaars hier, maar ons is meer as oorwinnaars. Jere, u sê nie net, u gaan vir ons, ons is geseend in die, in die, in die ons is ooral geseend waar ons gaan, geseend is ons in die stad, geseend is ons op die plaas, ooral waar ons ons bevind, is ons is nou maar eenmaal die geseende van die Jere, want u sê, u sal ons nie begewe, u sal ons nie verlaat nie, I is onze God en ons verklaar vandag, Heere, en I sal ons vasthou, by I sal ons skuil, I is onze Heere, ons geëer aan I, ons dankie vanmorgen, Vader, Heere, ons dankie vir die woord, ons dankie vir die beloftes van die woord, my God, Heere, Heere, my koning, ek bid dat I ons sal lei, dat I ons getrou sal hou aan die woord, dat I ons die oorwinning sal gee, in Jesus' geseende naam, Amen, 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 dierbarens, ons mag ons sitplekke inneem, dan gaan ek vir die persoene vraag wat my gaan help met die offerande om na voren te kom ons noem ons noem ons Dierbaar is, is dit heel wat afkondigings wat ek ook vir u wil voorhou. Uh, belangrik om te onthou die, uh, die prayer box wat aan die achterkant is. As jy miskien enige uh, prayer requests of any uh, testimonies that you want to put into the prayer box, it's just around the corner there, the back of the church. Dan uh, belangrik ook skip a meal for, for the month of March, waar net uh, die koste van, uh, van die maaltijd wat u as gesin gegeet, so gehad het, net kan, uh, kan, kan doen net aan die, aan, aan die kerk achter by IDES of met, of met die EFT, of jy kan self uh, 
non-perishable products kan jy ook self bring na die kerk toe. Ok, belangrik, die waar is, manne, moet nie die kar vir dag gaan was nie, ruim maar met die vuil kar vir die week, bring die kar volgende saardag, moet nie jou kar was nie, hou die kar maar vuil vir die week, and then you bring vibe tribe, wil even kar was, I must say it was, it was a very good event, two, two, three, three years ago, so, Guys, it will be very nice, nice vibe, nice experience. So kom, kom bring jou motor. Al as jy ook skoon, hulle gaan om skooner maak. Amen? Amen. So, so, dit sal wees, daar gaan ook boerenbos, rolls en cool drinks verkoop wees. Ek dink daar sal muziek ook wees. So, dit sal een lekker, net een lekker atmosfeer wees hier by die kerkperseel. Sardag ochend, 8 hier. Dit is van hoe laat af, Britsen? From 9, from 9. They don't have to book, they can just come. It's first, first come, first serve. Ok, right, that is, that is that. Right, dan die sondag, die 26ste, is daar doopdienst. All those people that, uh, that gave their hearts to the Lord recently, uh, the 26th of March, there will be a baptism service. Just complete the form at the back at, at IDES, please. Uh, dan sal daar ook for the new members that wants to uh, join our assembly. I told my friend the other day, I told him, uh, ek dink nie keer het ook iwas kom, ek sê, nou dacht my, de hele tijd my vriend, ek sê, moet nie ons een keer gaan kom besoekie. Ek sê, moet nie kom hier, want sy gaat weer kom. <laughs> yes, I told him, if you come, I promise you, 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 you want to come again. Amen. So the new membership meeting will be Tuesday, the 28th of March. Okay, those people that want to be, uh, but the community will join, just get the form at the back at, at IDES, please. Then very, very important, on the last Friday of the month, the last day of the month, so it will be where we will close the first quarter. 31st of March, there will be a nacht van gebed. Amen, dear waris. Ken ons nog een nacht van gebed, dear waris. Amen. So, it's for the assembly. You are so welcome to come join. A, a prayer, a night of prayer for the whole night. So it will be the 31st of March, 8 p.m. 8 p.m. till 6 a.m. Die baar is, ons gaan so bid. Jy gaan nie sê behoefte het om te slaap nie. Amen. Serious. Give yourself that challenge to come and, to come and pray. The program, it's been, it's not a program, but there's the whole facilitation pro thing, it's been working out, and it will be a blessed experience. I, I, I promise you. Please, please join us on the 31st of March. Ok, dan volgende zondag, nee, zondag, die 2e april, Will the, the dancers will have their bake sale after church. Cash only. Okay, so bring the bring die geld saam. The 2 of April sal a koek verkope wees. Then over Easter, for those that are here locally, there will be the Easter production. Amen. Alles al reeds besig. There's excitement. Amen. So the Easter production will be the unveil, the unr the unrivaled war. Friday 7 April at the 9 a.m. and till the 9 a.m. service. Friday morning. Friday morning. Easter Friday. That will be our Easter production. Then there will be a digital generation conference and workshop. The 14th and the 15th of April. Tickets are available at Quicket. For more information to speak to, to IDES uh, at the back. Just want to know is there any celebration, any people that, uh, that celebrate marriage, wedding anniversaries, any birthdays in this past week? That's a birthday. The camp, Pastor. Youth camp. Birthday, okay. Any birthdays, any celebration, any promotions? Amen, amen, amen. The Lord is good. The Lord is good. Let's celebrate this birthday. Let's celebrate the anniversaries. Let's celebrate promotions because it's the goodness of God. Amen. Amen. Uh, I've missed something on the list because <laughs> I missed something very important on the list because it's highlighted so I didn't see it. <laughs> oh my word. What's happening this the 31st of March and the, to the 2nd of April? What's happening that weekend? Youth camp! Amen! <laughs> okay, right, right. So teacher, I think the forms needs to be in, the deposits of the money, it needs to be in. 
Okay, uh, there's, still, there's still opening for those that are interested? Amen, amen. I mean, beloved, so that is uh, the, the announcements for, for this coming week. I'm going to ask Pastor Enslin to come close to us with a word of prayer. Pastor Enslin. Be blessed, uh, beloved. So, so good afgesluit, it's very easy to afsluit. So, we make it a double afsluit. Yeah, come on, let's go. Lord Jesus, we can never thank you enough to say that you came here to earth to die on the cross. We honor you tomorrow. You are wonderful, you are good, you are great, you are the Almighty, the King of the Kings and the Lord of the Lord. And as we look at the world, Dan weet ons, as ons kyk hoe alles die mekaar raak, en hoe dat daar aardbevings is, en verspoelings, en al die dinge, dan moet ons begin opkyk, Godse woord sê, ons moet ons oog gevestig hou op die wolke van die hemel, want hier is een van die daar bezig, om te kom, ons sal nog so bezig wees, dan kom nie, dan breek die wolke oog, en dan kom nie op die wolke van die hemel, en al die heerlijkheid, bid dat hy vir ons genade sal gee, om daar die dag, wanneer hy kom, absoluut gereed te wees, so dat ons kan saamgaan. Gee ons groot genade om nie meer sonde te speel nie, maar om ernstig te wees, ook in die week wat voorlee, dat ons ons leven sal by aan die Heere, soos wat die Eger in het graag wil hee. Seen ons dan nou, terwijl ons het mekaar gaan, bewaar ons op ons pad huis toe, ons weet Heere, jy sê altyd waag en bid, so ons nie net bid nie, ons moet waag ook versuchtig wees, waar ons gaan, wat ons doen, wat ons sê, en ook waar ons reid. In Jesus' name. And I'm going to say, Amen. Amen. Be blessed, church. Have a wonderful Sunday afternoon further. Amen. Amen.